Hello again everybody, we're back with another episode of Dragon Age. Today we're going to be back in Skyhold and just doing a little few little bits and bobs. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Right. Black wall, uh, iron ball. Want something to say? <laughs> again. Again. Uh, come on. This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Colin. Oh, 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 oh. Don't make her mad. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Perhaps you can take over. Damn right. Gunari training exercise to master your fear. I heard about the nightmare at Adamant. Sounded big. Well, what's this exercise? Can you explain why I'm supposed to hit you with this stick? Probably, if I try. It'd involve a lot of Kunari words, though. Just hit me with the stick, all right? I need to get over this demon crap. Okay. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Damn demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? <laughs> That's right, let it. You fought in that siege. Every demon at Adamant wanted to tear you in half. I bet, you demon assholes. And who killed you? That's right. Iron fucking ball. I needed that. Thanks, boss. No, oh, not a problem. Anytime. Okay, I guess that works. Oh, Cassandra, speak to her. You okay, girl? does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Is everything okay? Are you alright? You seem very intent. I am. This needs to be done before I forget. As if written by a dim-witted child. <sighs> Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. It must be recorded. That's a good idea. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. I saw her there, heard her voice, yet I cannot claim with certainty it was really her. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her, yet even so. You think it's possible? Do you really think it might have been her? A ghost? A ghost? A remnant of her hopes and memories? Her lingering will to do good. Those things are all possible. Nobody knows for certain what happens after we die. A spirit could have assumed her form, but why? It helps you, as Justinia herself would have. I believe it was her. I believe it was the Divine. She helped us one last time. I hope that's true. I want to believe it. When I realized we were physically in the Fade, I was terrified, almost beyond reason. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. No, definitely not. Wow. Right, let's, uh, let's go speak to uh, Sarah, see what she has to say. And then we'll go speak to Cole and then Blackwall. Oh no, we speak we spoke at Iron Ball. Right, let's have stairs. Right. Right. That's why. There you go, you're right. Heard what went on in that fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. 
difficult time for everyone. I think a lot of people are having trouble with what went on there. People going on about visions and piss when real people are gone. Dead, probably. Logan, yeah? Not a lot of tears for that one. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerim, when the blight ended. What do you remember? A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight and they died, or I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden. You forget the hero of Ferelden. That was ages ago. Ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. Huh. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. Definitely. Right. What's that? What's that marker? There's a marker here. What's what's that? There's something there. What what is that? Is that top? You happier with the champion off with the wardens? There were wardens in Kirkwall too. Cole, you got anything to say, pal? Oh. No. But you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic. Which renders this entire conversation academic. Okay. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. What's wrong? Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. What if binding changes you? Isn't it extreme for Solus to bind you? What if that takes away the part of you that makes you, you? Helping makes me who I am. I help the hurting. That is what I do. All I do. Am. Me. And if binding you erases your mind, your consciousness, you wouldn't make me hurt innocent people. I don't want to hurt innocent people again. We'll protect you. We'll figure something out. There has to be some middle ground between do nothing and bind coal with blood magic. Indeed. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit? Wearing an amulet of the unbound was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Okay. Good. They will not take me. Wow. Right, we'll definitely do that mission. Definitely. What is that in there? Meriden. Okay, we'll definitely do that at some point. Right. Let's go speak to Blackwall. Because we haven't spoken to him in ages. He hasn't had much to say, mostly. Subjected to his will. Okay. Inquisitor. Oh, there you are. How you doing, buddy? Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. None of the Wardens we saw wavered. They gave their lives willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. We stopped it. We stopped him. We saved most of the Wardens. But not all of them. And they died thinking they were doing something good. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. 
to want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. Then remember the intention. Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions, their sacrifice. Honor their selflessness. Chlorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman, and she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the order. It's not the joining at the heart of it. All a warden is, is a promise to protect others, even at the cost of your own life. Yeah, true. Wow. Right. Let's go and uh, speak to Cole and uh, Cole. Let's go and speak to um, Cullen. Make our way over then to uh, Vivian and Varric and I think we'll end it there then, guys. It's going to be a nice short one today. After all, we're just going to be talking to everyone and then that'll be it. Okay. Cullen, you okay, buddy? Looks like he's getting some nice fresh air. Breathe in that cold air, buddy. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. You feeling better? I trust you're feeling better? I... Yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm glad I could help. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. I care about you. <laughs> For what it's worth, I like who you are now. Even after? Cullen, I care about you. You've done nothing to change that. Aw, I love this romance. What about you? You have troubles of your own. How are you holding on? I'm scared if I'll fail, definitely. Honestly, I'm terrified. So many people depend on us, on me. Corypheus is still out there. We've made great strides. Do not doubt yourself or the Inquisition just yet. If there's anything I can do, you have only to ask. Damn right. Freaking love Cullen, man. He's a brilliant character. His evolution of the, in the story is amazing. Right. Somehow we ended all the way over here. <laughs> right. Here we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> right. Let's, uh... Go speak to Varric, and then we'll go speak to Vivian, and I think we'll end it there. Oh no, we've got to speak to Dorian as well. Forgot about him. <laughs> right. Varric, where are you too, buddy? I guess the hero of River Dane's story finally came to an end. Loghain was the Ferelden ideal, you know, the, the common boy who freed his kingdom and became a Terran. He helped to end the fifth blight. The rest aside, that made him a hero. He wasn't the first good man to fall to Corypheus. He won't be the last. This story's no good for heroes. We heroes might make it. Some of us heroes will make it. We're just too amazing to die. Huh. If we're both still standing at the end of all this, I'll buy the drinks. Oh, Hawk asked me to tell everyone back in Kirkwall where he's going. Baker's breath, Isabella's going to be furious. I had better write some letters. Yeah, you better, Excuse mate. Me. Don't worry, pal. Yeah, Isabella, I miss her too. I wonder if we'll ever see her again. I mean, it would be pretty cool because, after all, Hawk and her are him, her together. My friend. Hey, buddy. We'll talk later. Right. Let's go and speak to Dorian, see if he has anything to say, and we'll go speak to Vivian. Dorian, got anything to say, pal? Aha! You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio. Trite propaganda. 
But if you want 20 volumes and whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. What are you looking for? If I knew what you were looking for, I could help you. Ha! <laughs> you? I rather doubt that. Eh? <sighs> I apologize. That was unworthy. Did I see something by genitivity here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the abyssal rift. You went into the fade. Physically went in. Are you all right? We lost Logain. Logain is gone. The fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That you made it out at all is a miracle. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. That's poor consultation. That's not exactly comforting, Dorian. Nor should it be. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice, keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. I agree. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This, this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus's real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. Good luck, buddy. Okay, we can actually do it. Okay, that's, that's another operation available. Okay, Vivian, what do you want to talk about? Let's have a look. My dear, I know you must have a great deal on your mind right now, but I need to speak with you. You know as well as I how far the Inquisition's influence has spread, and how desperate the Grand Clerics have become. Our opinion will be instrumental in their election of the new divine. I suspect as much. I thought that might be coming after the Grand Ball. The Inquisition may not be invited to their vote, but our actions will certainly influence the Grand Clerics. To sit on the Sunburst throne, a candidate should have grace, charm, and a will of solid steel. Cassandra may lack the first two, but unless you can think of someone better, she is the strongest choice. What about Liliana? Liliana might be a better choice than Cassandra, don't you think? Liliana is a well-meaning fool. She will do irreparable harm to countless people in the name of freedom. She proposes to abolish the circles with nothing but a solemn promise from mages not to murder children. When an angry mage lashes out inside a tower, villages aren't destroyed. The circle protects us all. Mages will die and take ordinary men with them in a war that cannot be won. Consider carefully, Inquisitor. Everything we do is a sign from the Maker to those who seek one. Okay, no problem. Right. Let's go speak to uh, Liliana one more time, and then we'll end it there, guys. We've done quite a lot already in a short amount of time. Right. Liliana. Hey, girl. You all right? Inquisitor. I am... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven... Fade, escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? She saved me. She knew it was either her or me. And she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. A message to me. I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Liliana. That was it. There are no answers in the fate. 
Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. Whoa, intense. Right, guys, we're gonna go. Hang on, what's that? What's that there? Sparrow, okay. Right, we're gonna leave you here for today, guys. We hope you enjoyed today's walkthrough. Please like, comment, course, support the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye, of course. Stay amazing.